Earth Lime here, and welcome back to another week of Fortnite. We're actually on to. Oh, I got my cord hung up here. Um, we're actually on to week um, six. The season's actually going fast. I do still have a couple little challenges to do for each week four and five. Um, not very much. I just still haven't had much of a chance. I apologize for that. I know I've been saying I'm going to be posting videos, and now should be the week that I'm actually able to finally do that. I'm finally freed up for my projects. Um, so. We will actually complete things faster for you guys and actually have more videos, more content. Um, and I'll get to answering those questions. I know people keep posting comments on my videos and I apologize that I'm not getting to those. I just don't have enough time um, and I'm absolutely tired out at the moment. I don't know what's going on exactly. Um, we're still working on that. So we're just going to look at some of the challenges here. So for week six, search an ammo box in different name locations. That's going to be an easy one. Search chili gnomes that there. It's not really that hard. You're gonna have to find seven. I'm, we're gonna actually discuss that in this video here. Eliminate opponents in Lucky Landing or Tilted Towers. Then you have a three part series, stage one, visit Polar Peak and Tilted Towers in a single match. Slide nice puck over 150 meters in a single throw. Uh, then you have another three parter, stage one, deal damage with SMGs to opponents. And then deal damage with different weapons in a single match. So you have to actually do five. So I'm gonna show you guys basically, first of all, we're going to take a look at slide nice puck over 150 meters and a single throw. So what we're going to do is just go to here. We're going to take a look at the locker itself. We're going to go down. Right now we have a snowball equipped. You're going to have to be on level 28 to actually have. We're just going to go over to RT. We're going to look over at the sports. And there's the ice puck right there. What we're going to do is equip that. Now the thing is, is that um, you will need to be at least level 28 on the um the battle pass itself as you can see right there level 28 that was the ice puck so you will need to be at least level 28 to unlock that or else you won't even have a chance to equip it um now what we're going to do too is we're going to take a look at week six here and search the chili gnomes so the best mode to probably do most of these challenges are going to be the disco domination the reason why is because the fact that you can repeatedly keep dropping in over and over and over and over again um, because respawn until the match basically is finished you can keep doing this stuff so for example on your challenges um, ammo box in different name locations you can actually do you know go to several different locations you can search for the chili gnomes you can eliminate opponents and lucky landing or tilted towers you can visit polar peak and tilted towers in a single match by using this game mode um, deal damage with SMGs to opponents. You can try and do the ice puck and then deal damage with different weapons in a single match. Obviously, you're gonna have to do five different ones, but you can do that in this mode because of the fact that you can equip five different weapons. You can either have something in your inventory or pick something up. It's not gonna be that hard. It'll be very, very easy. So I think week six is actually going to be an easy week to finish off all these challenges, um, especially as long as they actually hold on to this game mode. So. We're going to do though we're going to get into the lobby just going to go into disco domination squads i'm not going to fill just for the sake that i'm going to actually be using um or trying to find these chili gnomes i'm actually going off a guide that was posted on the internet um i believe it was posted when was it i guess it was the 10th which is today we'll see how accurate it actually is though so hopefully they're right and i'm going to just follow it to a t Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually go down to the bottom um, between E9 and E10. That's basically somewhere around here, there's supposed to be an ice cliff or something. And what we're going to do is check it out. We're going to go down there and there's supposed to be a gnome. I think it's actually going to be something like right here or something. So, and that's where we're going to go. We'll check and see how accurate 
or if this is actually real or not, what they actually have posted. I've been doing a lot of reading trying to figure out where these locations are, and I've, I've actually heard a lot of people say that, you know, people basically are stating the locations, but they're either inaccurate or the fact that they just don't even bother posting a location at all whatsoever in their, uh, in their thing. So, um, I don't really understand why people would do so much clickbait. If you're going to post a video, try and make sure it's accurate. Give people a good, um, you know, give, give yourself a good reputation. Don't be posting stuff that's false or inaccurate. Um, you know, it's not very, very good idea to be doing that for yourself. Become a reliable source for people. If you want to build a YouTube channel? Don't build your channel on clickbait. Oh, there's a loot llama right there. Um, you know, what? I'm gonna go after it because I just, I simply can't resist. I need to, I need to get this. So, I need some type of weapons in the game at least, anyway. So, what a better way to do stuff here. And you know what? The guy is right. So far, he is right. So there it is right there. There's the chili gnome. We're going to go ahead and search him. There we go. So that's one location so far. Now the thing is, is that I actually found chili gnomes. And the thing is, is that the chili gnomes themselves, um, I exited out of the match. And for some reason, it actually counted. So I have no idea what that's about. Um, and then eliminate opponents and lucky landing or tilted towers same thing I actually was in a match I backed out and for some reason it still counted I have no idea why um, so anyways what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and search for more chili gnomes I guess I'll have to pick up that first one um, from the opposite thing there I have no idea how that even happened so uh, what we're gonna do is go on to gnome 2 then we're gonna actually go to the Viking ship or actually what we might do is we're gonna go backwards here I think so if I can actually figure it out. There's supposed to be a hole over here somewhere, and I don't know exactly where it is. And I have no idea um, because I've never actually played with anything here over on this side. So, so if we look at the map, actually, I think it's right here. So I'm a little bit off. Um, and hopefully there's actually nobody in there. I'm just going to go with a shotgun just in case. There we go. There's the hole. Okay, now the gnome is supposed to be in here somewhere. I can hear him. Is that him right there? Yes, he's face down. So we're going to go ahead and search this if we can. There we go. There's number two. I don't know what this guy's trying to do here. He's trying to get the gnome. I don't know if he was actually able to ever get the dome. Hard to say. Um, I just decided to take him out. I figured if it wasn't him, it was going to be me, probably. I'll show you guys where another location is here. We're actually coming up on Tilted Towers. There's an actual RV up on top of this hill here. We can actually get that location there as long as somebody doesn't end up shooting me. There's a gnome right there. So as you guys can see, um, this is where I am right here. So we'll go ahead. We'll grab that gnome while we're here. We actually have three now. Now what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to try and get this one here. Um, oops, somebody's after me. Nope, not fast enough, but that's okay. Do a damage to different weapons in a single match. We got two out of five. So you guys will actually be able to see where these locations still are. But um, like I said, I'll spice this all together for you guys. Much better than it was. Obviously, all the gnomes are going to be over in the locations on the left-hand side there. So sometimes you're not going to be able to get to those things. 
And that's okay. If you can't get it in one match, that's perfectly fine. You can always do it later. Okay, so we're going to keep continuing with our actual uh, challenges to find these gnomes. So far, we've picked up three. Okay, so we'll take a look at where the bus is actually going. This is perfect because we're going to need to go here. We'll go near the Viking ship. We'll actually go... I think it's somewhere around here anyways. Once we... We'll, we'll sort of hone our location in a little bit better as we go here, but... That'll be the general location. We'll hop off here. We'll go down. There's actually a gnome stuck in the ice over here. Might actually... Oh, I think it's actually on top. Sorry. So the location is... That's going to basically give you the general location. Um, but it's going to be right near these rocks right here. Oops. Missed it. We're going to go up to this location right here. There's actually a chest there. I'm going to go and get the gnome first. So the other guy here is actually going to the gnome. We're going to go ahead and search him. So there's the gnome location. I'm going to go into here. We're going to grab a chest. Just for some protection. Now, what we also want to do is make sure that we visit Polar Peak. Just because the fact that that's one of the challenges is to visit Polar Peak and um, Twin Towers in a single match. So we're gonna, just going to go ahead here. And the motor resources, that's fine. We'll go up. So there we go. Polar Peak. Now what we're going to do is go south. Land that Polar Peak was another one. Now there should be a gnome. Right here. There we go. We can search. Okay, so we're going to have a couple different locations left. Okay, so we did land at Tilted Towers here. So we're just going to quickly take a look. See where Shifty Shafts is. So what we're going to do is actually go to this location. There should be a tree up on top of there. you guys how easy it is to actually complete these challenges here so there's the gnome right there there we go we have six out of seven obviously we don't last long when we're in the storm so um basically we'll have to just go ahead we have one more location left and that location is actually i believe it's like over here or something which we cannot reach at the present time so okay so battle pass here up as you guys can see, we actually week six here. Now we actually have chili gnomes. Um, we do have the stage two visit lucky landing and retail roll in a single match. Slide nice puck over 150 meters in a single throw. We still have that to do. So we're going to actually go back, do that chili gnome, find him for you guys. That'll be our last one. And then we're going to actually see if, if we can actually go ahead and do the ice puck one here. And like I said, you will have to be level 28, have it unlocked and equipped. Um, that'll be the main thing and then we'll see what, where we can actually do it whether or not we have to be up on a hill or I don't know we'll, we'll see we're gonna actually go to the frozen lake and see what happens see if we can manage to get it across there okay we're gonna drop out as far as I know the frozen gnome will just sort of be in front of this little cottage type deal um, shouldn't be too far off here. Go ahead, open up our chute. We should almost be able to see him sort of sticking out of the ground somewhere here. I do believe. I think this is where he is anyways. Or is he on the backside? 
Okay, I do hear him. There he is, right there. Okay, so if you guys take a look. That's our location right here. So we're just, like I said, we're we're basically just sort of in front and off to the side of that little tiny cottage. And that'll be our last gnome. So pretty happy about that. Like I said, I'm just sort of going off a guide um, that was online. Oh, some chess. Yeah, lots of stuff this time. Okay, um, so we'll use up a couple of these. Now, the guide was actually, I believe it was posted on uh, Daily Star. And it's actually by a YouTuber called Save the World Encyclopedia. So. Okay, so we're going to use a compact SMG. And now what we want to do is actually get to that. Um, want to get to the frozen lake over here. So we can try and see if we can actually get that ice puck challenge completed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take the ice puck. How far? Did it actually stop? Okay, 87 meters. Okay, so we're going to have to think of something tricky here to do. See if maybe... Just maybe. I wonder if we could somehow. I think we can get an extra. So there we go. Basically, just pull yourself up on top of a hill somewhere, have it go down the hill, and then have it slide down into the thing, and that'll be your uh, ice puck. So we're going to return to the lobby. We'll take a look and see for you guys what exactly we managed to complete. Um, but like I said, we pretty much almost have everything done uh, for week six, which is cool. Like I said, that's an excellent game mode for you guys to actually be playing because you just, you managed to get so much stuff done. So three items there, cheer up. Calamity stage five. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the challenges quickly here. So four out of seven. So the other ones are basically easy now. Deal damage with SMG to opponents would have helped. I think I had an SMG and for some reason, I don't know why I thought that was an SMG, but I don't know my weapons too well because I don't play it that often. So, which I will be changing that. Um, busy lucky landing and retail row in a single match. We have stage two out of three and then search an ammo box in different name locations. So we actually have couple of those we have to do in different spots here so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you stuck around be sure to tune in we're gonna have lots more content for you guys so we'll talk to you guys later bye for now i really appreciate you guys tuning into the channel make sure you subscribe if you already haven't hit that like button so we'll talk to you guys later bye for now